A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Facecam Specials Insurgents. So, I guess I should apologize really quick, because if my voice sounds pretty raspy and kind of cracklish, it's because of all of those things that I just had happen to me in the last Facecam Specials Insurgents episode, so I guess I should apologize for that, but I'm back now yet again on Ark Survival Evolved. Because it is like I said, it just seems that Face Camp Specials Insurgents alone could be a go-to part of GWK. And that Ark Survival Evolved might as well just become a go-to title of the entire library of games that I happen to own and play a lot. I usually get a ton of GWK related content out of all of these games around this is certainly going to be one that I'm going to have a lot of in the future. More so because I'm going to have my own server set up in a little while, and it'll be some time before I actually get to that, but at the time, I guess it should be fine for me to say that there's just some things out there that I would probably wait on doing here, but I've got this building right here that I'm going to set up here. It's just a little stone house right here that I'm going to have set up over here. And it's just in the other side of the river for the most part, but in a way, I guess it's probably worth noting in a way that the right thing to do would just be to set up a house just so I wouldn't have to constantly get involved with all these fights between different animals and the like. And it would probably be the right thing to do anyway. So I'm going to set up a pin code for this because this is in fact a server that I'm playing on. And there probably will be a lot of things I'll have to tackle along the way, so. I do apologize for anything else that sounds wrong here, but. Once again, first time I played Need for Speed Heat, and the first time I created a Face Cam Specials Insurgents episode out of it. Oh, wow. You'll probably love what you notice in there. Like, more so towards the end of the episode there, when... I rage even more so than I've done before. It was probably one of the biggest raging moments I might have ever had in my entire life. And wow, my stomach hurts really bad from it. My chest is getting pretty palpitated from that moment. And my throat is just agonizingly bad. I don't know if I probably should take a little break from it because all this time I guess I've got some other things to run to settle down with, but at the moment, I guess I'm not, well, that angry about the whole thing, but I guess right now, there's going to be some other things along the way that I'm going to have to deal with soon. So I guess I might as well just keep going at it while I can, so. I um, guess the big thing at this point would be to just continue building the housing here. And it looks like I'm doing a good job at it. So, I'm going to have to set up a, a bed right here. There we go. It'll definitely be my go-to spot at this point here. So, alright. And I'm going to have to keep on going just so I'm be able to, well, continue hunting for food and the like. I pretty glad that I got myself the crossbow here to be able to use for it, so... Okay. Looks like I got another Dilophosaurus to come. Alright. I got no arrows anymore? That's... I'm screwed. I am screwed. I don't know if I'm going to have to continue hitting you with the pick. Let's see if that works. Alright. Okay. I guess that was a little easy. Because before, though, if I was just down to my fist, I would have been completely screwed. Until Alphasaurus would have killed me in just several hits. And a few blind sides right there with the, with the venom, that is. So. Alright, now. Let's see now. We got all this stuff going down here, and I guess I'm getting kind of proud of all this 
the way that it's going down so far. And it's probably just because of the fact that all of this that I've got to work with. So I'm going to take down this Gallimimus right here. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yes! Looks like I got it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I got myself a big amount of meat and a big amount of hide, so... I guess that's another one of those animals that I managed to to get with basic weapons in a way. Just by playing on a server, so... Okay, that's another big moment right there. So... I'm going to have to continue getting some wood, thatch, stone, and the like, just so I'll be able to build some more parts of the stone house housing itself and so that's just pretty much how it's gonna go and I don't even know but maybe another one of those mortar and pestles might also have to work at some point so looks like I got another wall section right there to work with so let's just go back to that spot and just simply wow I'm just gonna get over there Well, all right then. I'm just gonna shut the door, open it up again, and I guess this might as well just be another moment where I put a campfire down and just pretty much cook away. Have some meat to cook with as well. I don't know. And I guess it'd probably be the right time for me to go ahead and switch to a new clip because this is another one of those moments where I've got to work with here. Okay, so I'm now back on that server and it looks like I'm doing pretty good here so far. I guess another big thing I might be concerned about with is the fact that, well, something might come out and attack me. So, okay. I got lots of rod meat I'm going to have to throw out now, so that's probably because of all this time I wasted. Well, I got myself the sword, and okay, it looks like it's one of those... <clears throat> it's one of those little wooden rafts, okay. Well, it didn't stash much here in these, these storage bins. That's kind of going to be a problem later. All right. There's not much I can do on that raft, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave it alone for the time being. I guess in a way, there's always the learning curve that I got to work with here. There's always a learning skill that I'm going to be developing at some point. And who could forget? There's lots of things out here that I'm going to have to continue thriving with just so I'd be able to get through playing all this good stuff. Okay. So. Let's keep picking up some more stones along the way. I might get something nice along the way here. And there's no freaking arrows of mine that just remembered. So. Well, oh well. I can't really say there's a lot around here to work with, so. Anyway, let's see. Alright. I'll have to continue working on this whole thing at the time, but... Yeah, definitely get some more stones and flinch so I'd be able to stock up on everything. You never know what could happen. But along the way, more wooden thatch might be necessary, too. And it does seem like a storm's coming in. I can see it in the sky right now. Alright. Definitely got lots of new stuff around that I can work with, so... See, there's a round, lots of stuff in the round here, so. 
I guess there's not much else I can do around here, so make sure to do those five things that I would always ask in my outro on any video of mine on my channel.